beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, let us make man in our image. The Bible calls him Adam, one man who fathered us all. Now, genetics points to a scientific Adam. Microscopic clues in our DNA link every man on Earth back to one man, one common ancestor. To understand how this could be, we must discover scientific Adam's lost Eden. Enter his world and look him in the eye at an unexpected crossroads of Bible and biology. We're headed on a search for Adam. so different. The idea that we're all related seems impossible. It's hard to believe that six billion people all share the same ancestor. Yet three of the world's great religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, believe in one man who fathered us all. That makes Adam a key figure in the beliefs of more than half the world. Now, science offers a chance to find a genetic Adam. A single ancestor whose DNA survives in every man on Earth today. From the Inuit of the Arctic, to the Amerindians of the Amazon, from the nomads of the desert, to the businessmen of Wall Street. Spencer Wells, a geneticist with National Geographic, will lead us on a journey to identify the scientific Adam and reveal what made him so exceptional that he could father all men on Earth. But how do you unravel a chain so many generations long? chain that leads all the way to the roots of humanity's family tree. From Africa to America, all the branches on the tree join up in one trunk. The Y chromosome links men today back to their common ancestors. The key is to reveal super ancestors. Men who left their genetic imprint on huge numbers. They're like branching points, where vast sections of the tree come together in a single man. Geneticists can trace them further and further back down the tree to the ultimate super ancestor, Scientific Adam. Most of the time, the Y chromosome is passed unchanged from father to son, like a last name. But sometimes little differences creep in. Like the spelling of a family name changing over time. Every so often, a harmless mutation appears on one man's Y chromosome. All his sons inherit that mutation. And all their sons. It marks all descendants like a brand. That's how Wells found that 16 million men are cousins. Their Y chromosomes all showed the same mutations. This is a scientific quest, yet the idea behind our search was first written down in a document of faith, the Bible. Thousands of years before genetics, the book of Genesis tells of one man who fathered us all. The Bible gives no physical description of Adam, saying only that he's created out of dust in God's image. Adam's rib provides the raw material for the first woman, Eve. God gives them a home, the Garden of Eden. But soon, tempted by a serpent, 
Adam and Eve eat from the tree of knowledge and are cast out of paradise. Adam and Eve have children, and according to the Bible, this one family has grown to include everyone on earth today. These mutations originating in Africa appear on every Y chromosome in every man in the world today. These are the universal mutations we've been looking for. We followed the DNA trail all the way to the bottom of the tree. Every branch leads to one man, one Y chromosome. There must have been one man who gave rise to all men alive today. He is the ultimate super ancestor. He is scientific Adam. One of his descendants was M-168. He was the forefather of the ancient Middle Eastern ancestor of Thomas Jefferson. He gave rise to Genghis Khan's Y chromosome. In fact, all the Y chromosomes in the world trace back to this one African man. He is Scientific Adam. Wells believes he was born around 60,000 years ago. It sounds ancient, but it means our search for a common ancestor has not led us all the way back to a time of ape men, or even to primitive beings like Homo erectus. Compared to the billions of years of human evolution, we found Adam in the recent past. But now, thousands of years after the Bible was written, science has confirmed the essence of its story. There was one man whose DNA survives in every man on Earth today. His Garden of Eden was likely East Africa. Other humans came before him, but only after him did we become truly modern. Scientific Adam unites all men today. From Bono to Nelson Mandela. From Tiger Woods to David Beckham. From Osama Bin Laden to the Dalai Lama. Effectively, we're all members of an extended family. We're all really cousins. And some believe that's the message of Genesis, too. Adam represents all of us, and that's what makes him important. Not Adam individually, but the fact that Adam is every individual. We are all Adam. In finding scientific Adam, the Y chromosome has not just united all men. It has found common ground between the worlds of science and faith.